Hey guys, Mr. Baldwin here coming to you from the interweb. Today we're talking about the skeletal system. Okay, a lot of cool stuff. Everybody's got some bones in their body. Everybody's got bones, so you got to be able to, you know, make sure you know what you're talking about with that. So, first part, you guys are going to be able to identify the five major functions of bone. Okay, first I want to start off with a little video clip of me dancing. Yeah, I know, that was fantastic. I'm pretty good at my dancing skills. Pretty nice. I'm pretty proud of myself. Years of college for that. Okay, so first let's talk about those five functions of the skeletal system. Okay, first part. We need bones to help us move. Okay, they provide points of attachment for muscles. Everybody's got muscles. You know, some are bigger than others. Obviously, they don't get much bigger than mine. But your bones are used for that movement. Okay, your legs and arms, they're going to move when your muscles pull the bones. Okay, we'll be talking about that you can actually see how some of these muscles are attached to the bone. It's actually how your arm can rotate back and forth and move back and forth because of those muscles pulling the bones. Next thing, we need bones for support. Okay? If you didn't have bones, you'd just be like this big blob of goo. You would just kind of like shrink down into nothing and you'd look kind of like a worm, just kind of flat on the ground. There's a really good Family Guy episode where Peter turns into a, a boneless guy like that. Uh, the backbone, one big example, that's how we sit up tall or sit up straight and stand up tall. Holds up our head, protects our spinal cord. Which leads us to our next one, okay, protection. Okay, if we didn't have bones, we have a lot of vital organs inside of our body that would get damaged. Okay, your lungs would be really easy to pierce if you didn't have your rib cage. Your heart, it's right in the middle, you've got the center of your rib cage or your sternum. You've got that protecting your heart. So that's why it's a really thick bone. Your heart's right in the middle there. And it's tough to get to the heart because we got that nice protection there. Same thing with our skull. Our skull's protecting our brain from sloshing around and getting poked with stuff. Okay, fourth thing. Your bones help make blood. Okay, the red and white blood cells are formed by tissues inside the bone called marrow. Okay, it's the center of the bone. It's right in the middle. And it's actually something that's uh, very nutritious as well. If you ever have marrow soup, it's fantastic. You boil the heck out of some chicken bones, and you get the marrow all out the middle. It's really good. I wouldn't go eating human bones, though. Kind of strange. Last part, we're storing some stuff. Okay, When you guys are kids, you should have been drinking lots and lots of milk. You guys still are kids, so keep drinking your milk. you got to get a lot of calcium inside your bones. The more calcium you have, the more dense your bones are, and usually the stronger they are. Uh, now, females in the class, you guys are going to have to drink even more. Oh, hang on. My doorbell just rang. Let me pause that. And we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, delivery from the UPS guy. So, we were at the storage of minerals. Okay, so we're storing calcium phosphorus. Females, when you guys get older, a lot of women have problems with osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is when you have calcium deficiencies. So it means you don't have a lot of calcium in your body, okay, or in your bones. So that's all we have for that one, okay? Remember, you should be able to describe the five functions of the skeletal system. That's all I got for today. If you guys have any questions, post them down in the comments section at the bottom. I'll talk to you guys later.